move then from foreign policy to domestic policy uh, in embattled Trump there. I know some, some court challenges are already getting in the works. Some protests already underway. What can you tell us about the sort of reaction to Trump's well, declaration? On Friday, the president... Yeah, Friday the president declared what he calls a national emergency. Therefore, he was uh, planning to divert uh, not just uh, the one and a third billion dollars that Congress would give him to build a border barrier on the Mexican border, but in total, $8 billion from various agencies. The state government in California says it's definitely going to file a lawsuit. Other state governments are expected to do the same. The American Civil Liberties Union, meanwhile, the liberal organization MoveOn.org, scheduled 175 protests from coast to coast on this holiday Monday, President's Day. Perhaps you're seeing one of the crowds right near the White House here in Washington. They had, I would say, about a thousand people listening to speeches. Now they're holding signs that say the emergency is a fake and the wall that Trump wants to build is racist. Narit? Dan, let's talk about lawmakers for a moment because after the longest shutdown in American history, we finally got to a point where there was a bipartisan agreement to try and end this, to get to a resolution on that border wall. How do you think Republicans are going to react going forward to Trump's sort of defiance saying, I'm still going to do this my own way? The president saw what Congress did pass, and he took the money, right? He signed that measure. The government is still open. That prevented a shutdown. But he said it's not enough money, and his lawyers advised him he could declare a national emergency. It's been done by presidents, oh, more than 30 times, but not in this way, not where Congress refused to give the president money, and then he takes it anyway. A lot of Republicans are miffed, and they're not hiding the fact. The House and the Senate may actually vote on a resolution to reverse the national emergency. If that passes in the House and the Senate, and Republicans may vote for it, the president would veto it, but that still could be embarrassing. Nareed? All right, Dan Raviv in Washington, thanks very much for breaking that down for us. We'll see where it goes from here. This is only the beginning of a new fight over that border wall, and we'll leave